What's up guys? Wayne Bennett, I'm back. Uh, to my 18 year old self, uh, a reminder that if this channel is adding value to your life, to make sure that you um, that you like, you subscribe, that you leave a comment, that you uh, you engage just to say what's up, man. Um, God, this week I am so blessed. Uh, last week I posted a video about gratitude. And I feel like this week has sort of been an extension of um, of that that gratitude. So many wonderful things have happened this week, um, and you know the focus today is about uh, um, dreams, about dreams. And I've I've talked about dreams before, but this week is through the lens of just never giving up on your dreams. Never, ever, ever, ever giving up on your dreams, no matter what happens. Never give up on your dreams. Never, ever, ever, ever give up on your dreams. I tell you what, this week um, I found out that um, I got cast in my first play here in New York City. Uh, and it's an off-Broadway play, play that's called Audrey. It's a, a new musical. And, um, and boy, did that do something for me. Boy, did that do something for me. Um, it's just giving me a sense of confidence. Uh, it's giving me a sense of, you know, of, of drive, of, you know, a focus, of clarity, uh, of alignment, which is so important. Because I feel like a lot of times we can be unsure, we can doubt ourselves when we're on this road to for our dreams. You know, like there's a lot of things that come up, doubt and fear and that kind of thing that comes up inside of you and whether that is uh you know mostly driven from what's in you or if it's driven by uh the influence of people or the environment that you're around you know the reality is that doubt and fear so sometimes sets in you're like hey am i too old does this you know can this still work do i still have it you know um I'll be honest, man, I haven't been on a stage in seven years. I haven't done a play in seven years. And, um, God, this week I got a call. Like, hey, you know, uh, we love your work. And we'd be thrilled to work with you uh, on an off-Broadway play that's called Audrey. So <laughs> it's, been a, it's been really, really exciting. And a testament to you guys to never, ever, ever give up on your dreams, man. Never give up. Never give up. Ever. You know? Um, I remember being back home in Jacksonville, Florida, and when my baby boy was born, um, I was sort of convinced that, um, that I would have to, you know, change my life essentially, uh, because I was developing this new identity as a father. So I was confused about what that responsibility would be. Uh, I've only been an artist my whole life, and... <laughs> So when I, I heard the title Father, it was very scary. And so I, I convinced myself, like, hey, the life of a performer, the life of your dreams is it's out of the door, man. You can forget about it. You got to focus your efforts on, on being a great dad. And so that's what I did. I stayed home and I got a job as a teacher. I was making good money. I was, you know, um, spending lots of time with the kiddo and... You know, living a, a casual, normal life, but I think eventually it set in that um, that I felt I was compromising. That I'd wake up every now and then and just in tears, because deep inside of me there was this thing that I absolutely loved, and I felt that I was doing myself a disservice by not continuing and following through with that dream or that passion. And I also felt that I was doing a disservice to my son by not being the best version of myself that I could be. That, yeah, he could see Dad, you know, every day, but if he's seeing Dad at 40%, you know, what does that say to him about um, the way that he should live his life? And I don't see the, the kiddo, my, my son, as much as I'd like to now that I'm in New York City and he's, he's in Florida. But I felt that it was necessary for me to jump off the porch and build a life for myself that I could eventually bring him into because I've created such fruitful uh, pursuits. And 
I felt like it was a bigger lesson to him to, to don't ever quit. You know, to take the lessons, the things that you've learned, the mistakes, let the mistakes be lessons, and you keep chugging along, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you never quit. You keep pushing, you never quit, man, you never quit. You put your best foot forward and you keep going, man, you never quit, ever, ever. That is really the trick to success, I think, is that some people are just relentless, they never quit. And so, I think to my 18 year old self, and I've said this in the video before, but it just really resonates this week that you can expect resistance on the road there. You can expect the unexpected. You can expect the tough things. You can expect there to be roadblocks and hurdles. That's a part of the game. That's the game. Because you know what it teaches you? If you really cut, if you're really cut for it. Because a lot of people at the first sign of resistance, they quit, they're done, they're, they're, they're out of the game. But when you make a decision, like, hey, this is what I wanna do, this is what I'm going to do, and you focus all of your efforts in, those hurdles, you see them as opportunity to strengthen you, to make you better, to, um, to sharpen you in the ways, in the places that you're weak. And so, yeah, that resistance is necessary. And keep chugging, keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't ever quit. You gotta keep pushing, you gotta hang in there, man. You gotta stay in there. Head down, keep working. Head down, keep working. I mean, I've got this role and I'm excited about it, but the truth is, is I gotta get to work. I've gotta get to work. I gotta put my head down and keep working so that I'm sharp, so that I deliver the way that I feel is necessary at the caliber and at the level that I wanna deliver. And the only way to do that is to put your head down and to work. There's no secret, there's no, you know, fast route, route. there's no expedited process. It's work, man. It's work, it's work. So, um, yeah, man, to my 18 year old self dreams, don't ever give up. No matter what people say to you, don't ever, ever, ever give up. I remember feeling like I had disappointed so many people, you know, um, how disappointed I felt because I disappointed people who I felt invested in my talents, invested in me, who, you know, um, poured so much into me. And they expected a certain result from me, from me, you know? And at the point that I felt that I let them down, my world was shattered, you know? But here's the thing, I absolutely needed to go through that. It was so necessary. It was so necessary. So we gotta understand these things for what the, what they are. The tough times, is, that's what builds character. That's what tells you what's really in you. And it's life giving you a sign of where you need to become stronger at. I think about it now like, man, had it gone the way that I thought it should have gone, just success after success after success. If I was still deficient in that area of life that I felt that I was weak, Oh man, I would have blew it. Completely would have blew it. There's no way I would have maintained it. I wasn't ready for New York City prior to now. That's the truth for me. I just needed to develop, to develop stronger discipline, you know, and focus and clarity about who I am and what I'm here to do. So thank God that that's crystal clear for me. You know, that I'm su simply a vessel for God and I'm, I'm light. And I just hope that God shines through me in my encounters, uh, in my work, in my personal life, in every aspect of my being. So when you know that, that means you're rooted in a solid foundation and you just can't be shaken. And that's how I think that we should embrace the world. So see the tough times for what they are, that they are uh, character building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the tough times are character building. Because they're setups. If you if you view them the right way, if you can think about them the right way, they are setups for the next thing. 
you know um so yeah i don't think we should ever ask you know god why did this happen to me you know i think the question should always be god what are you saying to me what should i take away from this experience how can i sharpen and I think when that's sincere, you know, you'll view the tough times for what they are. They're character building, and they'll eventually lead you to your true purpose. Yeah. So, to my 18-year-old self dreams, never give up, man. Never, ever. Don't ever give up. Use the tough times as an opportunity to sharpen. That they're just temporary, and realize that they are character building. For sure. Hope this week is awesome. Hope you guys do some wonderful things. I hope that tomorrow is better than today is. <laughs> and that uh, nothing, nothing but greatness is ahead. Alright. Talk to you guys soon.